Hi, my name is Dr. Himanshu Verma. I'm vascular and endovascular surgeon at Portis Hospital, Gurgaon. Today we'll talk about diabetes, diabetic foot, and gangrene. So uh, we, it's a common fact we know that uh, you know the ulcer in the foot, uh, when happens in diabetic patient, it takes very long to heal. Uh, but we don't know that uh, a lot of time this ulcer, which is not healing, is a part of the process which is also called gangrene. Uh, gangrene, which otherwise normally we know that uh, we know about uh, it like uh, blackening of the toes, basically happens when the blood, supp blood supply to certain area is not sufficient. Uh, up to 60 to 65 percent of the patients who have uh, had diabetes for a few years can develop certain blood vessel blockages in the legs. Um, uh, on top of that, the patients also get uh, two more uh, problems. Certain patients can have uh, some deformities because of the diabetes and then certain patients can also develop neuropathy that is the lack of sensation in the feet. With the combination of these factors, if a small ulcer forms in feet uh, and uh, also the blood vessels are blocked, uh, they don't heal. Normally for a small ulcers to heal, we need a good blood supply. Uh, once these ulcer, uh, you know, and, and on top of that, diabetic patients because they cannot feel pain so they fail to report these ulcers in early situation in early you know stages so uh, typically when we get the patients they have uh, uh, you know the foul smelling uh, the ulcer which is on underneath the feet which they can't see sometime picked up by the relatives as a vascular surgeon our role comes apart from the cleaning of the wound uh, to the assessment of the vascularity. Uh, typically, it's done by ankle brachial index and toe brachial index uh, for patients who have clinical uh, decrease flow in their feet. Those are imaged by an angiogram and uh, if suitable, either angioplasty stenting or bypass surgery is needed to heal the ulcer. It's very important to reach out to a vascular surgeon in time because uh, the gangrene, the, the, the infection and tissue loss which is done, that is done. Uh, after we improve the blood circulation, that part needs to be removed or cleaned. So, um, uh, if you are diabetic, if you've got an ulcer in leg which is not healing, or even if you get some pain on walking, uh, you must get your vascularity checked in time.